Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a, our new module. This is a, a prototype of the, the module, which is be, going to be coming out in October, and it's called Trails, and it's basically an XY controller where you can draw in different paths here on the on the XY control, and it's a, a four-channel device. So here you've got your four uh, like channel selectors. And on this side here, you, for each channel, you have X, Y, and gate outputs. Um, so just now, I'm drawing on all the four channels. They're all active there. But I can turn off, so now this is only a single channel here. And I'll just draw something different in on that channel, and then switch to this. So you can morph parameters. Uh, if you have four <laughs> parameters, you can morph them, basically. Exactly. So th these can be uh, four yeah, modulation signals. And I'll just show you. So here, these are all like four individual loops that are free running. Now the, the loop length here was just about how long I had my finger down on the touchpad. Um, and so these these can also be uh, triggered like one shot envelopes, or they can yeah loop like this. And um, yeah, basically, uh, I'll show you what else you can do. So I've just drawn in another path here on all of the four channels, and now. If instead of just like a continuous CV, these are uh, the, the voltage range of all these outputs is configurable, by the way, so you can choose the minimum, maximum. But as well as, yeah, continuous CV for controlling parameters, you can uh, apply sample and hold. So here, it's dividing the path into a number of steps. You can choose the number of steps you want, say eight. Now, for I'll get a gate signal coming out the... Uh, for each uh, t uh, you know step in this path, and you could we also have a quantizer here. So here you can choose the the scale you want to to quantize the x and y to. This is minor harmonic. So now yeah, I, I have like a a two dimensional sequencer running basically. And so just now this is just synced to the 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 loop length, the how long I have my finger down, but it's all clockable. So with a clock, you can decide uh, the, the number of clock divisions that each of the four channels loops to. So it's really great for creating polyrhythms and uh, yeah, kind of like phasing patterns. So it can output various um, CV triggers? CV and triggers, yeah. So each channel has uh, uh, an X and a Y CV. So your position here, your position here, and a gate uh, for your for your for the rhythmic content. Is it somewhere possible to save this? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's got 16 memory uh, slots. Okay. So you can save everything that you build up. So you, it's good for performances and yeah. And how big could be this uh, automation be? Uh, about 20 seconds per channel. Okay. That will probably go up to around 30 seconds. For now, 20 seconds. Yeah. But the concept is a bit uh, taken further. The, the glitz your exactly so this is the yeah, kind of evolution of the of our touch controller glitz which uh, was just you know it's a small 4 hp module that can do various uh, things to do with touch control um, this we've taken it to the two-dimensional plane and yeah expanded it up to four channels so here the idea is really it's for creating polyrhythmic material and I, i'll show you um we also have a different view of this path that I've drawn in here. So I've drawn it all on four channels. If I switch here, what you're seeing is the loop length. So from the start to the end, and this is the playhead of each of the four channels. And now what I can do is I can shift the phase of these four channels. So when I switch back, you see, you're seeing the same shape but now you're, you have the individual colors of each channel all flowing one after each other. So you can see it a bit clearer if I, if I hide the channels one by one. That's the first channel in blue, the second one in red. See, they're following each other out of phase. So, yeah, the idea is just creating modulation sources that have this perfect for phasing music. Um, 
Yeah, complex polyrhythms. When you will release this? October. October. Yeah. And more, I am pretty sure it will be cost more than this. Uh, your your the glist module, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're well, just now we're hoping for around four hundred euros. Okay. Yeah. So it is to be confirmed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.